Hello, family. At this time, we're gathered here, you in New Jersey, and us virtually from many places, not just to comfort one another, especially Levi, Lucky, and Jody, but also to come to celebrate the life of Ariel. It was two and a half years ago that devastated us to learn that Ariel has cancer. Through all those times, Ariel was very positive. His unwavering faith encouraged us all and never complained, at least to us siblings. The first time we heard of Ariel was when we were in Norway. Levi mentioned that there was this guy who was courting her and, and it's like she's asking for advice. Of course, we didn't know Ariel then except through what Levi had described him to us. But I also know that Levi would make a good decision. And so it was, she made the best decision of her life. Ariel was a very good, uh, devoted husband to Levi and father to Lucky and Jody. He was smart as smart can be. He's a mentor to a lot of people. We also know that he served in the church faithfully and brought his family along with him. Through this, he touched a lot of lives. We love you, Ariel. We'll miss you. But it also comforts us that now you're with our Lord. Hi Arazas, uh, sorry kung wala kami dyan ngayon para makatend ng memorial service and family service for Tito Ariel but we love you guys and we're continually praying for you guys here in the Philippines. Um, isa sa mga memories na naalala ko with Tito Ariel is yung uh, pumupunta kami dyan sa bahay nyo and sobrang excited namin lagi ni Coco kasi makakalaro uli kami ng video games and computer games dahil si Tito Ariel sobrang hilig sa mga games and also pag pumupunta kami dyan, lagi kaming natatawa kay Tito sa mga kwento niya and sa mga jokes niya so yun, di siya nauubusan ng mga jokes, every punta namin dyan may bago siyang patawang jokes na sinasabi uh, also thankful ako kay Tito Ariel dahil sa kanya uh, isa, isa siya sa mga naging inspiration ko sa pag take ng computer science na course kasi um, nung Pumupunta kami dyan sa bahay nila dito. Nakita ko si Tito, hindi siya na stress sa work niya and happy pa rin siya. May time siya sa family niya. And yun, sabi ko gusto ko rin, ganun din ako pag laki. Uh, happy lang sa work, um, hindi stress and may time sa family. Pero nung tinake ko yung course ng computer science, hindi rin pala ganun kadali. Magaling lang si Tito Ariel mag-manage ng time and magaling lang talaga si Tito pero ganun pa man, thankful pa rin ako na yun yung kinuha kong course and thank you, thankful ako kay Tito dahil dun um, nanulungkot ako kasi 3 years ago ko last pa nakita si Tito and um, di ko na siya makikita ulit ngayon but I know na nasa good place na siya and I know na magkikita pa rin naman kami. So, we love you, Tito, and we will miss you. Hi, it's Justine. Um, um, hi to the Arazas. I want to say that I'm always thinking and praying about you guys and for you. Um, I've just been thinking about Tito Ariel a lot this week. And, you know, when I think easily the what what I think about a lot, if you know me, is um, how he's the one that got me into The Little Prince. And The Little Prince has had, <laughs> it's a kid's book, but it, it's had so much influence um, in my life, not just as a kid, but as an adult. It sounds kind of silly, but it has. Um, and he's the one that showed me that book when I was really young. He challenged me to read it. I didn't want to. I got like five pages in and I was like, I don't want to read this anymore. And um, he said, just give it a try. Just give it a chance. You're going to like it. I think I was like in fifth grade. And um, I not only ended up loving it, it ended up being just my favorite books because of the life lessons it has in it. Um, even to this day, I read it about every year, every other year. And it still means so much to me. And it reminds me of Tito. It reminds me that... Um, that we can see the good in things we can choose to see things with hope and with positivity um, even if we don't see it um, right before our eyes but um, it's just a good 
memory to me that Tito um, showed me that. I think he showed that in his life as well. And that is always going to have a lasting impression on me, even to my boys. Um, um, I know that's something I'll get to share with them. Um, and all because Tito thought to help me <laughs> by reading that book um, um, one summer. So um, I like to remember that and just think positively of that influence Tito has had on me. So thank you, um, Tito, for that. And for the Arazas, I love you guys so much. And I'm always, like I said, I'm always thinking of and praying for all of you. So, um, Take care and I love you. Bye guys. Hello guys. Before Ariel died, I had a chance to tell him we love him and how much I miss him. Ariel is a brother, a friend, and a teacher to me. We met when we were teenagers in Pateras Church and then became friends. Almost daily we band, had fellowship, we ate together. At madalas nga, inaabot pa siya ng 12 midnight dahil hindi namin namamalaya ng oras. We also played basketball, table tennis, and sometimes football. We also played board games, chess, bagel, word factory, and scrabble. Ariel is unbeatable. He is so brilliant, lalong lalo sa mga word games. Dinadaya mo na, hindi pa ako manalo. Ang kanyang sikreto, he memorized at least one word every day. I remember, I even stepped over in Ariel's place. At bago kami matulog, aayain ako niyan ni Ariel. Sabihin niya, Brad, ligo tayo sa pool namin. Yung pool nila, it's a, it's a cistern 2 by 2 meters in diameter. They use it to store water. Kasi mahirap ang tubig noon eh. Pero bago nila magamit, ginagawa muna namin ni Ariel na swimming pool, parang bathtub. <laughs> Sorry Arasas, but it's your Kuya Ariel's idea. At, at pagkatapos namin mag-swimming, we take a shower together. Parang sa military o sa prison. Sorry to tell you, by, I saw him naked first. At after namin mag-shower, snack time naman. Time to eat Ariel's favorite peanut butter and jam. And then, after namin kumain, doon, uh, nag-devotion kami. We pray. And Tito Ariel prayed for Tita Libay specifically to be his lifetime partner. And guess what? God answered his prayer. May bonus pa, Luke and Jody. Ariel is also my teacher in Sunday school. He taught me a lot. He helped me to grow in my Christian life. Ariel is a model. Grabe ang kanyang faithfulness sa Panginoon. Marami pa kaming memory at pinagsamahan ni Ariel pero kung isa-isahin ko masyadong mahaba finally Ariel may usapan pa tayo we're going to Palawan mag snorkeling tayo doon kakain pa tayo ng bulalo pero okay lang I understand you're in better place now Levi, Lucky, Jody. Continue trusting and serving the Lord. Our God is good. He is faithful. He knows all things. At sigurado, sigurado ako, He loves you so much. Hindi niya kayo pababayaan. I want to praise God sa buhay ni Ariel.
Hey everyone. Um, we wish we could be there with all of you right now, but uh, we're sending all, all of our love here from Canada. Um, just wanted to take a second to talk about some memories that I have about Tito Ariel. Um, I remember we being in the Philippines in that garage and we had the table tennis um, table outside and he would just teach us how to play, but really he would just destroy all of us. Um, he would always be positive and he was always making jokes when you were around. He was a great role model to me and all the other cousins as well. And last but not least, he was a faithful and loving father um, to his kids. And you could see his faithfulness throughout his whole life, even till the last couple of months. Um, and that's super encouraging to not just me, but everyone else as well, uh, to see how his faith is carried over to everything, every part of his life. Uh, no matter what. Um, and yeah, those are just some things that I remember about him. Yeah, my first memory with um, Tite Ariel was um, at Michigan in the Luca reunion. Uh, thank you for just welcoming me into the family. Um, thank you for just showing uh, me how strong of a person you are and how strong your faith is and just the love for your family. Yeah, so thanks guys and we wish we could be there. Um, but we'll see you as soon as we can. Bye. Bye. I remember when I was really young, still in elementary school, I was in the Philippines for a missions trip and Tito Ariel in his library um, or collection of books had a book that was a compilation of riddles. And I picked it up off the shelf and I started reading it a little bit and I, I couldn't even figure out the first one. Uh, but Tito Ariel noticed and he sat down beside me and sat with me and um, kind of picked my brain a little and taught me how to think outside of the box. And I think for at least an hour, we sat together there and he just imparted wisdom to me as a young boy. And even now I still cherish that memory with Tito Ariel. And he had a natural gift for sharing his wisdom, sharing his life and what God had given him. And he definitely, definitely always thought outside of the box. Um, so I'm really thankful for that legacy that Titario leaves um, with his family and the memories that we get to share of him. I'm Sakshi. I will really miss Titario's pieces of advice when it comes to schooling. I will never forget when he told me that not passing a certain school should not make me feel I'm not fulfilling my destiny. He always told me and my sister that he is so proud of us. I will really miss Titario. I'm Aniko. I'm also really going to miss how Tito Ariel and I bonded over things related to art. Like we talk about um, art techniques or art materials or digital art softwares. And another one of the things I re I'm going to miss about Tito Ariel is his jokes and sense of humor. And I'm really going to miss how he can lighten the room with his presence. I'm really going to miss him. Ang namin kuya na wala ka ng sakit ngayon sa heaven. Lahat ng mga luha, lungkot na naramdaman mo, pinawi na ng Panginoon, kuya. Hi. When I thought of what I was going to say for my best memory with Tita Arnold, I realized that I can't really say what my best and favorite memory with Tito Ariel is because all of the memories I have with him and all the time that I spent with him is very dear and precious to me. And what I think I love the most is whenever mom would tell me stories of Tito Ariel and mom and Tito Dre and Tito B when they were kids and um, all the fun things they did and basically spending time together as siblings. I see Tita Ariel as a reminder of how to have fun, how to live life. Because he has such he had such a wonderful life. And I think that's created such a big impact for me. What I also admire about him is his sense of humor. Um during the times that I got to spend with Tita Ariel. I think that's what I appreciated the most. Tita Ariel, thank you for your legacy. We miss you and we'll never forget you. Anna, lagi ka na dito sa aming mga sa aming puso. I love you. Oh, yeah. 
We love you, Tito Ariel. We love you, Tito Ariel. Hi everyone. I first met Tito Ariel during the mid 1980s when his family moved from San Pablo to Pateros and they started going to our church here in Pateros. For a while, Tito Ariel was one of my students in Sunday school together with Tito Rohel and the others. And I noticed right away how very smart he was. And I was telling myself, ano ba tong studyante na to? Mas marunong pa sa teacher. So he was so brilliant that sometimes I would get anxious or intimidated even. And that uh, he would be asking some very difficult questions. So to end the class, I would say, oh, we don't have much time for q and A. I will just give you assignments to answer at home. My second memory of him, Ariel was a gifted artist. One time I overheard from his friends in church that he could also draw and paint well. I was a little doubtful. Ang smart na nga tapos magaling, pang mag, magaling pa sa arts. Parang doesn't fail. I thought maybe he wasn't that good as an artist. So to test him, I asked him if he could make a sketch of my favorite photo. And it was one of my graduation photos with me wearing a pink gown. And Jesse gave me the finished colored pencil portrait in no time at all. It was beautiful and it's one of the mementos from him that I will always treasure. Number three, Ariel was a very well-rounded and individual and maybe only a few among us know that he also excelled in sports, especially table tennis. Tito Rohel loved table tennis as well and he carried that air of superiority believing that he was the best among his contemporaries. Enter Tito Ariel, and who mercilessly and without much effort beat Tito Rohel with his signature backhand, st backhand strokes. Tiklop talaga si Tito Rohel, pero happy na rin siya to be in number two. One other thing we really love about Tito, Tito Ariel is his witty sense of humor. There was this one time when he pranked Coco, and to this day I couldn't help but laugh again and again whenever I remember that one. Coco said it will be the highlight of his talk, so I will not talk about it anymore. And um, although it was meant as a joke, you know, it served the purpose of teaching Coco some important lessons in life that could save him from possible dangers. So I would like to thank Tito for that. There are so many memories shared, but among the many, the best ones that will linger in my heart are the days when he journeyed through his battle with, with a big C. Those two and a half years may have been his darkest, most devastating, painful moments. But those were also the times when his faith in God and strength of spirit shone the brightest. What a wonderful blessing his life has been to us. To Levi, Luke, and Jody, God must have loved you so much. To have you gifted with a husband and father like Tito Ariel. His life was short, but he was the best family man, a good provider, nurturing not only his family's physical, mental, emotional needs, but most importantly, by his example, he modeled a spirit-filled life, wholly surrendered and committed to his Lord and Savior until his very last breath. I know he left peacefully in anticipation of the joy of being wrapped around in the arms of God and knowing that God will take care of his beloved family until the time that he sees them again. I hope we, see, we all see him again. If not, that spells trouble. God bless you, Levi, Luke, and Jody. May the memories of Tito Ariel, the beautiful legacy that you left behind, be your source of joy, strength, and inspiration. We love you. My favorite memory about Tito Ariel was when we tried to catch the clear shrimp in his fish tank, and what I'll miss about him is that he was very kind.
and we all love him and um and I'm really sad that he had to go. He just and you know. Okay. The favorite thing about tell you is when when I try to catch the shrimp and put it in the you know and and what I miss about him is that he was very kind and he died and he had to go up to heaven. Hi family. Um, if I were to describe Tito Ariel in three words, it would be bright, God-fearing, and joyful. Um, growing up, I was very close to Tito Ariel because at that time, he was the only Tito that I had from the Lugo side who lived in the Philippines. So usually, every summer, um, we would hang out in their place, uh, watch a movie, and in fact, um, he was the one who taught me how to play video games. Um, but my favorite memory with Tito Ariel was when he pretended to be a girl and uh, he was chatting and texting me for a week until uh, he felt like he was done um, playing with my feelings. and. He told me to call him in FaceTime and when I did, uh, when the camera opened, it was actually uh, him and to my surprise, uh, Luke, Jody, and uh, Tito Ariel was laughing so um, hard at that time. Uh, that was just uh, one of the many uh, memories that I have with Tito. Um, uh, uh, Tito and I were actually talking about where and when we will see each other again. Um, if it's in the Philippines or uh, if I'm gonna come back to visit uh, for the weddings. But unfortunately, I didn't get to because of the virus. Um, but I know that I will see you again, Tito, um, in heaven. And um, I miss you. And... Um, I thank you for all the lessons that you taught me and all the memories, Tito, um, do the Arazas, uh, Tita Libai, Luke, Jody, um, I love you and I will continue to pray for you every day and hopefully we can see each other soon. Um, that's it. Uh, I love you guys. Tita Jody, hi Tita Luke. My favorite memory about Will Aria is that when we had our family reunion, he was with me and we, I played with him a lot. I miss him. Mm -hmm. Hi Lola Levi. Hi Tita Jody. Hi Tita Luke. Um, I'm thankful that we got to see Lola Aria. Um, and I'm glad that we got to see him, and he was just so nice. He was just so sweet to us. Um, he he even gave me this watch. So yeah, I, that's why I like this watch a lot, mm. and I always wear it. Hi, uh, Raza family. Just want to say we love you, and one thing that I. Uh, always loved about Tita Ariel is just the way that um, um, the kind of father that he is, um, just his attention to detail with uh, Luke and Jody. And I always just try to, um, I, I just really uh, admire the way that he's been a father and I really want to be that way. And I've always really looked up to him and I just want some of the the heart that Tito Ariel had as a father. That's that's really what I want, and that's what I, I definitely loved about him. When we went to New Jersey and we got to see Lola Ariel, this is one of the songs that we sing for him. You never change. You are the God you say you are. When I'm afraid, you calm and still my beating heart. You stay the same when hope is just a distant thought. You take my pain and you lead me to the cross. What love is this? You gave your whole life for me and made a way for 
the truth that when I catch you.